What's up, Minecraft tonight? Welcome to the Minecraft Monday Show, where we cover everything going on in Minecraft and in the community every week. We have another jam-packed week of Minecraft news for you, but this week we're gonna give away one of the prizes that you guys love most. For our subscribers and commenters, a not shine diamond. We're gonna give one away. But we'll get to that. But first, your Minecraft news. At the beginning of the week, we saw pre-release 4, and you're gonna see the new dimension called The End. It has a whole bunch of nothing in it right now, but Enderman and one Ender Dragon that's gonna be in it. And the only way out is gonna be by killing an Ender Dragon or just by dying. And the regular world itself, you're gonna see its own dragon too. So it's not just gonna stick in the end, but it will be a different type of dragon. This dragon hasn't been made yet, but you can't expect it. Minecraft is also gonna to have to start its own Geneva Convention now because it now has weaponized potions you can use. These potions are gonna be called splash potions. And the best part is you can turn any potion into a splash potion, even a health two potion. All you have to do is mix a potion with gunpowder and you already have a weaponized system started. WMDs in the house. It also shows up in a different type of bottle so you can't get it mixed up and end up drinking it and turn yourself into a creeper. Now another massive system is of course the enchantments. This time you can actually start using them. We're talking about enchanting all your weapons and all your armor. And the community was already underway on hooking you up because they made a 500 level experience map just for you. This way you can try out all different kind of level weapons and armors and see what they give you. So just like before you have your enchantment table but this time when you put bookcase cases around it at least one block apart it starts pulling letters from the bookcase and into the enchantment table this is how you actually create stronger enchantment weapons and armor so this way you can enchant level two and three stuff now because this enchantment system is so in depth i want to make sure to show you this one video by chimney swift he does a great job going through all the weapons so you can see how they all interact and what kind of levels you can receive one of the interesting things is you can just keep popping on and popping off whatever item you want to enchant just to get different level stuff. So later on you may see this limited by only seeing three different ability options first time you put a weapon down. And right now you cannot enchant bows and hoes and flint and steel, but that didn't rhyme so who cares. Now one of the small updates is a new type of melon called the glistening melon and it will help you make instant health potions. And gas has actually become more hardcore. If you get hit by one of his fireballs just once, you pretty much lose nine bars of health. Also, it seems now with the spiders, all their legs move now when they walk. This has pretty much happened since dragons, since they started creating sub-animation levels. Now they're starting to apply them to all the other mobs, which is great to see, so maybe we're gonna see gas moving a little bit more smoothly. Also, Notch wants to include multiple hitboxes on mobs now, so such as the heart is gonna be the highest point of damage when shooting somebody with a bow, or a headshot when you bludgeon them with a shovel. And what does everybody make their most controversial topic about this week? It's about the sun and the moon. Whether it's going to be round or a square. Well, square actually won the poll that Notch started, but it's going to be round now. Currently it's round and it may change later. The reason why is because he wants to do moon phases, which look really nice, I have to say. Hey, they still have their blocky feel. Can't hate on the guy, but how do you feel about this? And in Minecon news, Wonder, Wonder, Wondercraft! He is creating the official Minecon poster. He also had some extra time and he made a Bebop Fox t-shirt. I really just wish I had that kind of talent. He does a great job. Feel free to show him the love over on his website and his YouTube. To include, he's also going to be at Minecon doing a bunch of drawings there for people. And Minecraft Chick went to Austin for the Game Developer Awards, where they went ahead and walked away with two awards, Best Live Game and Best Community Relations. And as everybody knows, we have a great Minecraft community. And something very interesting, Notch tweeted he's looking for writers to write the end of Minecraft. What? And to top off your Mojang Minecraft news, they have turned one year already today. <laughs> That is one hell of a successful year, I'd say, for Mojang. Here they are starting up their third game they're helping produce and about to release Minecraft. So, whew, they have done an amazing job. But now it's time for me to support you guys, the fans, and everybody in the Minecraft community because you guys do some amazing work. Here you go with your Minecraft videos of the week. Minecraft tonight always go blender crazy with their videos and I love it. Here you go, a party anthem rock song. It's all out fun, a whole bunch of dancing, and you get to see the most active Enderman that you're ever going to see again. Random dancing? Oh yeah, nothing like it in Blender. And you may be asking yourself why you can't hear the music? Well, because it is totally copyrighted, and I'm not playing that game. Your second Minecraft video is I'm Addicted to Bacon. Who isn't? Minecraft bacon, everybody loves it in general. But most of all, at the very end, that is easily my favorite part. It's like bacon. Bacon's have hoes. What? I mean, there's some bacon. I've seen, I've seen... Uh, 
never had no bacon hoe. You know what a bacon hoe is, uh, don't you? Haven't you ever seen a bacon hoe? Oh, like oh, a God. really hot piece of bacon? Oh, hell no. Oh. Get off my leg. Be sure to check it out. Link below. And your third video, somehow, once again, you redstone artists pull it off. I don't know how, but this is a mob game where you fight waves of every mob. It's an all-out survival game, and I just, it blows my mind how you guys pull this kind of stuff off. I also have some bonus videos for you. The Shaft, Podcast, and Minecraft Chick. Whew, they did one badass video. It is called We Built This City, and they had a ton of fun running around and going all out with all the equipment that they had at their disposal. They even have a behind the scenes video so you can see all the fun. Now this week I actually have two Mile of the Weeks for you because they're ridiculous. First one up, get your fist ready because it's Kinshiro Mod. So if you hate crafting in Minecraft, then just do it with this. Who needs a pickaxe? Who needs anything else? Just use your fist and become a ninja. Completely cheating. But hey, it's fun, you know, and if you don't mind hearing that sound over and over and over again, hey, then there you go, go ahead and get it. For your second mod here, actually a lot of people are having problems getting animals together. They're saying, hey, let's get leashes in Minecraft because they're so hard to, you know, hey, get mating. You know, you think it'd be easier to mate them, but actually it's kind of a pain right now, especially if they're really far apart. Well, this person made a crate mod so you can start crating your animals. Not sadistic at all, typical Minecrafters. And you guys are always building massive crazy projects in Minecraft, so here are some of them. Holy sh**, did you see that in Minecraft? The entire Star Trek Enterprise fleet. What? Also a very interesting hell tree that you can throw in your netherworld. And there have been a ton of 2D Minecraft videos coming out. Well, this is how they're done, and here's a map so you can download it and make some yourself. Also, there have been a couple redstone games for how to play Battleship. Well, now you can do the real thing. Throwing an entire Battlefleet ship into your world. And finally, there have been a rash of Skylands lately. Well, here you go. Somebody makes a very quaint and enjoyable Skylands. All their links are below, so you can download their world edit. And then just go ahead and pop them into your world. Your texture pack of the week now, I like to show off because it's a 4x4 texture pack. You don't see that a lot, do you? The reason why is because they wanted to go for the most extreme cuteness, and that's by keeping it simple. Now currently right now it's just for 1.8, but they're going to be working on 1.9. Here's a quick rundown of it though. They have a little unicorn and my little ponies for your empty slots. The animals aren't changed much because they're already, it's simple enough 4x4 as it is. But the spiders look like a pair of socks, and the creepers are all happy, and the skeletons have cat faces. I think the weirdest ones in this, though, are the chickens. Now, because we're in the gray area of 1.8 and 1.9, I have your seed of the week, one for each of them. Your first seed here, right there is the IP, is for 1.8, and I've never seen anything like this before. First off, right by spawn, you already have a town. Already cool there. Then you have a whole bunch of cliffs. But this is where the fun and odd part is. There's a stronghold above ground. It's actually cut off. And it's the library section of the stronghold. It even has a cliff right by it. So there you go, a great view. And this ridiculous seed was actually found on minecraftseeds.info. But now for everybody else playing the pre-release 4, here you go. You have two massive strongholds right by spawn. The rest, however, is a swamp, so you may not like that. But it almost doesn't matter because you're going to have pre-release 5 here in probably a week. And real quick, your top skins for this week, we have a Creeper TV head. Also a Legend of Zelda, he even did a time-lapse video showing all the shading and everything. And then also, a new Bebop Vox skin made by a fan. And I want to thank you guys, the Minecraft Mondays fans, for being subscribers. So, a Notch Sign Diamond comes up this week. If you comment and subscribe, this way I know you're still alive, so comment below about whatever you want, such as the Creeper Bar Question of the Week. What are you most looking forward to seeing happen at Minecon? And what do you think that they should add into Minecon that they haven't said yet, such as those Minecraft light boxes? Yeah, I'm still trying to nudge that in there. Those things are so much fun. Everybody's gonna be banging on them. They'll be broken by the end of the night. But what do you think should be there, even if you can't go? Go ahead and answer below, and I will pick one of you guys at random for next week. Also, we do have the Minecraft Monday server up by MalsyCobble.com. Thank you for donating that 150 slot server. And that's it for everything that happened this week in Minecraft. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next week for everything going on in Minecraft. This way, you don't have to run around the internet trying to find everything. As always, thank you for your support, and happy Minecrafting.